you be mine. It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, the neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Like, oh, 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 Cause we coming six million strong, six times ten, you know it's on. We'll walk down on your own. You'll think that we come, cause everywhere you look, it's an S. Had it on pumping chest, we representing the best. In the projects, the homie dog and child was banging. Lil' car, Tom Moss and Black Pat, and up was banging. The homies remaining strong like Monster Crip from the old drive by. DK, Raw, Raw, Simbo, and his boat. Marco, Lil' Joe, Sir Wayne, Rap Dirty, and Nolan. Crip Dog, KK, and L Dog, and Alvin from Road. Neighborhood, we hold it down from zero to Motown. Yak, Big Hokey Killer, he'll hold some hand in the ground. For my homies to see, football and OG ski. Lil' Brian, Alfred, and Jarvis, Chance, L. Rest in peace, Chuck C, Debo, Cookie James, and Wayne, and Yak Ride. MB, Lucky, and Short, Park Street, Lakeside. Make a ride down Looney Street and double back down the cave. 94, 95, 96, that was back in the day. That was scared to shoot what up, Big Moose. Shout out to Lil Rob. Got sticks and drum like Ramblin', I can step for an hour. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah, why y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the comment button, hit the dislike button because I like all the smoke. But I want y'all to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. I want you to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. I want you to look to your neighbor like the preacher man say, look to your neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Preacher man say, look to your neighbor. Yeah. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Neighbor, neighborhood, neighbor, 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 Halfway with all, no, nah, I think he's jack of all trades and a hundred percent with all. Uh, this guy right here, he he's a uh, he's known for doing stuff for the community, throwing throwing hood things. He 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 has a clothing line. He has a uh, uh, a network thing going on. Uh, hell, I just found out he was a rapper a year and a half, two years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna let him introduce himself. And let y'all know who he from and where he standing, and where he going. Yeah, you know what time it is. I hear a ton of bots going that day, you know what I'm saying? Ratchet City, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? Ratchet City, Louisiana. Wicker Land on point. Wicker Land. Wicker Land. Man, welcome to the podcast, man. Cut the kickback podcast. You've been a long time, man. I'm glad you. It's good to have you on, man. I already know. Shit, we got this, uh. 19 with the 1738 right here. Smooth, that's smooth, smooth gal. Yeah, oh, look, look, the smooth taste fool. We're gonna yeah. be cool and though. Yeah, man, uh, happy to have you on the show, man. Uh, I know you, uh, I gotta give him the big ups, man, because y'all know back in, uh, by about eight, nine months ago, he invited me to the birthday bash he did with, uh, with a uh, gangster boo. And he hit me up two, three months prior to the whole situation. Like, hey, yo, man, I want. I want you to come to your podcast with the, the birthday bash. That that, was, that meant a lot to me. Just right y'all know. They, to me, that's a little. That was a success move for me, and I enjoyed that shit, man. I had fun. One of my 
best episodes. And, and then also me, after a while, I was away from the podcast. It was good to, to start it back at his birthday bash. But enough about me, man. So you from Shreveport, Louisiana, man. Tell everybody who don't know about you, the people who follow my shit who might never seen you. Give a rundown of your, uh, your Shreveport life. Man, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Come from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out a way to make it out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one dimensional. So I had to put my hand in different bags, you know what I'm saying? To make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I was denied, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't had what it takes from what they thought. So, you know, I had to make a believe out of them. I'm still working on that too. So, so, so you been in, so you was born in Wickerland. I, I was born in, I was born in Motown. Motown, okay, Motown, okay. Yeah. I see the ties. I like to see your yeah. W, y'all. Yeah. It makes sense yeah. now. So, yeah, but I moved to Wickerland when I was 12. I would come out to Portland okay. and learn everything. Okay, yeah, we learned it. And that's what I, and that's what people misunderstand. Like, they say, um, a big Mo, I mean, Mo 3 ain't from, uh, from North Dallas. He's from McKinney. Well, shit, he moved to North Dallas when he was 12 or 13. I know that because I was there. Yeah. When, he was, when he was 13 years old, he was running around the apartment in the Dodge Hill Pond. So I know Mo 3 was, yeah. you know, he, that's yeah. what he did his dirt at. Yeah. So, so, uh, they be reaching when they you know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing else they got to do. Yeah, they got to find some more yeah. he, was, he was a thorough, he was a solid cat. Yeah. You know, me and his mom are home, homies, you know what I'm saying? She yeah, yeah. dumb of those with us and shit, you know. But yeah, another thing though, uh, uh, I wanted to, uh, Get to the point though, uh, like I said, you do a lot of things, man. You uh, you came up with the hood thing, right? So, I came up with it, you know what I'm saying? Me, listen, Pete Big Noki, you know what I'm saying? He yeah, inspired me too. Big Noki, man. You know yeah. The more, the closer we got, the more I'm like, man, because he from the, the road. Yeah, yeah, you know we was school together, junior high and high school. You know what I'm saying? So we, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I saw some homies, wasn't dealing with certain homies, but you know what I'm saying? Just through him, knowing my brother, you know what I'm saying? There's so much ties and that people don't know about to go on behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and to the point, you know what I'm saying, like we just click, and that's you know what I'm saying, shit. I'm there up there, he calling me up there, he come to my spot, you know what I'm saying? I don't let too many people in my house. Big Noki be in my house cooking, going to sleep, everything else, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he falling asleep real, yeah. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? It just, he, he helped bring that, you know what I'm saying, to what it was. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, uh, you, uh, you, was, what, what came first? I know, I know, I, did the hustle come first? Then rapping? Yeah. Or, I know, I know, I know the hustle came and first. The hustle came first, and I put the hustle into the rapping. And then rapping and came rap in. Hustle, you know so after the rap, so, so, so when did you start, uh, see, I want to be a rapper. Cause you, everybody loved music, right? We all love music. But what made you say, you know what, I can do this myself. I've been rapping since I was like 12. I've okay, been rapping since I was 12, you know what I'm saying? Like. Lynch by Lynch Studio, you know what I'm saying? I remember Dale Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, I'm yeah, heard. Yeah, I knew, he, we were the church together back then. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right so, dog heard right there by County Market. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I, I knew Lynch. Yeah, 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 we had okay, a song. Okay, so you need deep. Yeah, I didn't have a song. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Yeah. Keep running. I had a song on, on you know what I'm saying, on Cam J.J. Number three on the countdown to number one. You know what, what was it called? Called Out of Luck. With the coach, you know what I'm saying? Me and my boy Clayville, shout out Clayville and Don Wong. Yeah, yeah. So we year this one like what? It was like 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 15 then. Yeah. Yeah, I was 15. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because yeah. he had a little, little studio tour right there on her, right there by the compilation. Remember the uh, compilation? Yeah. The homie from Grimm was on the compilation. Um, Corey Rose, no. Corey Rose. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to rap. Cookie Corey? Yeah. Yeah, I had the rap group. They got a song on their same compilation. I see, hold up now. See, this stuff that I don't think, like, that's why I have Bosco on the motherfucking show because a lot of niggas don't have this information that he has in the sources. And I know I'm yeah. going to get the good sources at Shreveport. We ain't even got that yet, but we about to. But uh, so. Shout out to Coach Kitchen. Coach Kitchen, shout out to my dude. <laughs> and see, that's a neat, deep homie, too. That's my. Yeah. There's a lot of homies from Elementary. We, we've been knowing each other since second grade. Right up. And we still here talking to each other on, on, on Facebook, on, on whether it's sports, Kevin, like we did back when we were. Yeah. Eight nine. Yeah. So the, the you you do the rapping shit. So now as far as the the street boy rap scene, when you did it back then, was you uh doing it because you want you you, you wanted to pursue a career in it or you just knew how to do it and you just did? I wanted I wanted to pursue a career. Because okay. back then we all we both know this. There weren't too many rappers, people known for being rappers around. You had Jake O. James. Right, Jake O. James had you had uh 
Yeah, organized rhyme. Organized, then you had the NAC. The NAC, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we have, I, I never, I never knew anybody. You have uh, under 21 to sing the thing in that profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's all we do musically. Mm -hmm. So we didn't, Shreveport didn't get looked at as a uh, a music scene in my eyes because we we was on everybody that was bumping. We had the, we, we was on the East Coast yeah, shit. Yeah, we were consumers. We was on, we was on the West. We were consumers. We were on the shit. Yeah. And then because in, in that Shreveport is a game banging city, so of course we we, we 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 gravitated to the West Coast music because they talk right up how we live, yep. what we see. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you, how, but all that inspired, you know what I'm saying? Like, so when I when I heard it, and I started repeating the, the rhymes, you know what I'm saying? Reciting the music, rapping along with them. I'm like, okay, I can do this up. You know what I'm saying? Let me change the words of my story, you know what I'm saying? And put this to the same type of, you know what I'm saying, beat. Which I like, the, you know what I'm saying? The West Coast or the South, you know what I'm saying? The Southern beat, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really feeling the East Coast beat, but I, I understood the lyricism, you know what I'm saying? Which nowadays, it, all tracks kind of like, you hear, you, you hear a nigga on the East Coast on the beat, I like that beat. Yeah, they, they yeah. started to be better with their beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always loved it because I mean, I, well, I, I stayed up there and I always had that ear for the music because the first yeah. song, the first first sound I heard was East Coast. Yeah, LL Cool J, Fat Boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, and then NWA came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, and come this more wanted, like right? my, my favorite rappers though, like this West Coast and East Coast. So and then I like niggas like Sebo and MC Game. I only got to hear the album. I got. I know. I brought them to the city. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm gonna I looked up to this legend. We done it. I didn't. Keep, keep I didn't. I got stories keep, to that. Keep, keep <laughs> running. Keep running your shit, though, man. I ain't gonna let you know. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So the music, shit like that. So then after music, you, okay. Because we, we were young. I was, you know what I'm saying? We were young. That, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't know the business. Right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but the hustle really got the money I had. But I was hustling with the money. My partner gave from the lounge. We put this money together. We been to go, you know what I'm saying? So what he happened? got a, he had the keyboard. He played beats, you know what I'm saying, back here. But we don't, you know what I'm saying, we just didn't have a roadmap to, you know what I'm saying, the talent we had, nobody could just send us through the vessel to get, you know what I'm saying, to where we you had didn't have, you didn't have the information like yeah. niggas in New York and LA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whoever had the shit. So there's a lot of red tape. There was a lot of dough when we go down one avenue, we just, you know what I'm saying, go far to the go, then we boom, you know what I'm saying? Then we got all the things started happening, you know what I'm saying? We split up, you know what I'm saying? People, we bent out to other things, so the rapping kind of started playing the background, you know what I'm saying? So in other words, you start- I was in jail. You start, in other words, you, you start growing up, yeah. coming of age, and you started getting your hands in a different- Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Other situation as far as the hustle till you started. Females or- Yeah. Drugs, you start doing, you know, anything. Yeah, cars, you know what I'm saying? Got buying cars yeah, and all yeah, that stuff. And, and you, Nigga, I know the, the, the roof still was there, you know what I'm saying? People come up all the time, like, you still be rapping up when you gonna have something new. You know what I'm that really what made me go and get back in it. Cause I had like, it came to a point where it's it just like the streets, you know what I'm saying? They play the same game, just on a different level. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hurt you behind my money, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna take my money and do what you wanna do with it and, and close the door on me when I can pay you for something, you're not delivering what you're telling me you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? How we, we messed over here, man, you're not mastering no music. You know what I'm saying? But you took my money and said you can master it. And what you and so how old were you when all this shit right here was playing on? I mean, so you you started at 13, 15, you know, all of a sudden now you you are back. You, what, what year did you go to jail? That's what I'm trying to get. I was in jail 2000, in 2000, 2000 like in 2001. I was I was 19 when I was in jail. Okay, so 19 you went to jail. I was 20. I was 20. 20 you went to jail. And then that's when a whole different when you came, you probably you came home. I was twenty. What I was twenty five. Going on twenty six. So you had a whole different perspective when you came home. But I wrote the whole time I was in jail. I wrote a book, a whole novel in jail. You pretty much wrote out everything that you're doing now at the same time. I whole, right? had a whole plan, and I executed it as much as my ability. And I, I didn't achieve most of it. Well, I guess what. Whether it's most of it or half of it, nigga, I'm proud of what I've seen. I already appreciate I mean, that. I ain't gonna even lie, there's no, there's, there's ain't no butter and toast right here shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real shit. I mean, anybody can say this shit about this nigga right here. If I'm talking about, if I know one thing, a nigga that's all about giving people flowers and getting this flowers, nigga, it's this, this, this nigga right here. Yeah, we got, we got a popular, I made that normal and popular that because you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You gotta get him flowers. When he made that little, his birthday badge, flowers while I'm here, I mean, Nori been saying it don't drink chest for the longest, but we all 
I remember the first time I heard that shit was on state property, on Skino. They bring you flowers really? while you're dead, but no food while you're dead. That's my camp folk too, though, on Skino. They bring you flowers while you're dead, but no soup while you're sick. Yeah, yeah. To my nigga, shit, bring me my flowers while I'm living, mm -hmm. nigga. Old Skino said that shit back in shit 2004 on the state property. First one? On the second one. On the second one. On the second one. On the second state property. Yeah, yeah. He said on the verse. I mean, that's the verse. Yeah, yeah. He said, bring your flowers while you're dead, but no soup while you're sick. <laughs> I like that shit. That shit, it, it melted with me since then. And now I'm starting to see people say it in reality and in yeah. the public. Yeah. And then the way he said it, cool. And like, I, I, I love I love giving people their flowers, man. But shit, hey, Bosco, somebody, remember, I remember them episodes y'all used to cook, y'all doing them episodes? And I said, y'all the certain people get that ribeye? You need to go down two ribeyes right here. <laughs> but it is we're gonna get back to that next go around we're gonna get that cooking shit going on i yeah. don't want to do no cooking no more i need to have me a chef i need to be yeah yeah chef. Gotta be to I, I, chef in. I was doing it now there gotta be a middle man somewhere y'all yeah y'all know there's no middle man reduction but okay back to him not uh so you, you're doing the rapping you come home you're doing the rapping so when did the clothing line? See when I come home, I, I come home with the clothing line. I ain't come right out with the rapper. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Even though I had the music, in, you know what I'm saying, the music in, in jail because I, I I I can't stop. Like, if I got time, I'm I'm a thinking right all day long. As long as I got the time to do it, and in prison, you got the time. You know, yeah, I don't with the bullshit. Uh, I ain't yeah, play yeah, the punk I, game. I, I, I ain't gambling. You know what I'm saying? So you do your time differently every yeah, six months. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm really. Six months you do this, six months you do that. I'm like, working, yeah, working out, you know what I'm saying? I'm eating better, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm training myself on not to come back in here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I, hey, I, don't, I, I, I hope I don't melt nobody here with this shit. You were the first person I know that started coming with the clothing brand shit out of the city. Out of the city, y'all, let's report. I ain't talking about nowhere else, anywhere, but out of the city, you and my nigga uh, Tweety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Tweety had to shoot my boy. Shout out to my boy Tweety. Shout out to Tweety. Tweety one of the people in the street. They never know they can be done. Who's there to call the street from each other and change the park? But uh, I seen yeah. Tweety with the shoe shit back in the day. Then all of a sudden, that person who I seen come with some clothing material and the brand this shit was you. Yeah. And I ain't even, I seen you with my boy. You don't see a lot. Yeah. My cousin Lo. Yeah, man. She go away from when I come out of the port. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You don't see one of my, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad at my fucker. We don't see one now on each other, though. Yeah. I hear. Oh, yeah. 2010. Yeah, 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 I went, I ain't cut off with the TDC on the nigga and shit. For real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't cut off. We were talking about something, though. I ain't oh, when I got, uh, the, uh, when I, I said I was locked up. Yeah, you, you said you were locked up. I came, came on with the, the clothing line. line. I, was, I, ain't, I wasn't doing the music right then. I always, know what I'm saying, the clothing line was inspired by me, even, you know what I'm saying, before I went to jail, I always thought about, for like, how my, my brother was more of a, the white guy, my brother named Prep. He, you mm. know what I'm saying, he, his influence touched a lot of us, just, you know what I'm saying, subconsciously, you know what I'm saying, to a lot of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying, they, they brother, they little brother, you know what I'm saying, all they come from the way my brother used to dress, my brother tummy here, figure button down, you yeah. know what I'm saying, MC had to change the story, button down with the, the, you know what I'm saying, with the suitcase, with the strap in the suitcase, you know what I'm saying. Glitch in the suitcase, ready. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get your fashion style. You, to you always fresh like a motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? To a certain degree, but I flip mine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I flip mine to the point where even yeah. if I'm gonna be fresh with, you know what I'm saying? With, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't gonna be necessary. It gotta be the prep way. It gotta be the, you know what I'm saying? The pull all the time. You gotta feel like a t shirt, you know what I'm saying? It come with the head, you know what I'm saying? So I put my spin to it. Like, man, we can have a certain t shirt, you know what I'm saying? That represent what we call that fly too, you know what I'm saying? But at that point in time, back then, you didn't have, you had, you know what I'm saying, rock and roll cane, you know what I'm saying, you had the rock and roll t-shirt, but they were more big, big, and the collar was loose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. don't want, want the loose collar like that. You, know, well, you, you, came, you came out doing the era when they started slimming down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right, right, like, right in the middle of the tall T thing. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the slim T, you know what I'm saying? All right in the middle. You can look at that shit, man, and be like, you, look, you think about that shit? Yeah, you think about the tall T. You look, that shit look tag as a motherfucker. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like, you look back at pictures, you like, that nigga look, that nigga look, look, look homeless. For real. No, but that, that was a style. Yeah. Yeah. And the bomber jackets, and the, and 
that, that that's cool. Yeah, yeah. The starter jacket, the bowler jacket. So, so, uh. So it, 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 I wanted to provide something that represent uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, different from what, what was your market. What was, was your first, what was, what, 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 what was your first uh, brand on your, on your brand and your clothing shit? Your brand, the fake Love Real 8. Yeah, that's what it was. That's the one. I didn't want to say it wrong today. I, it was on the Yeah, the fake Love Real 8. Fake Love Real 8, Real 8, that was the first thing that you came out with, right? I love that. Okay, and that's the one, I, that's when I, did, when you started doing that, that's when you called my radar. Yeah. Like everybody, because you see with, uh, MC and that's the most popular and, one. Yeah, that's the most popular one. And, and, then, and it, it, it meant a lot. You know what I'm saying? And before that became, I was doing like custom T-shirts. Like me and my partner, we you know what I'm saying, Boo Man. We started this together. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was in jail. I wanted to do it, so I got out. We put it to work. But it was more like the picture T-shirts or whatever somebody wanted on their T-shirt. You know and then my man? boy Timmy Lo, he done know what I'm saying. Timmy Lo got he, he, he rocking the dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My side up shit. Yeah. You know that when when it start start seeing it. Yeah. Which I was like, yeah, I see niggas back home. They found another way to like I like I know these niggas. They found a way to legal hustle. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like, I enjoy seeing this shit. Mm -hmm. So the clothing brand, you run it, man. You know what I'm saying? Once I seen that, I can promote your shit, man. Cause I had to let that down. You know what I'm saying? I still doing like man. I want to focus on. And I want, I want, I want, I want uh, an outlet. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to the Gucci outlet. You know what I'm saying? You want to rap? I want. I'm going, I'm, it's head turning stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now I got that. You know what I'm saying? You go to my store right now. We head turning everything. Yes, you know what I'm saying? saying? But I, I, I took a sacrifice to the point to turn people away. That man can't do me this. Put my name. Put that. No, I don't do that. No, I don't have the machine no more. I do that for constantly to turn money around the sacrifice. And you know what I'm saying? It, 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 I stay true to it. You know what I'm saying? So, so head turning really is the brand. Head turning, yeah, head turning the brand. And I love the fuck out of that shit yeah. because it can be head turning sports, head turning. Head turning everything. Head, head turning evolution. It's the, yeah. it's the promotion like company. That. When I do the nose and I had a show, that's yeah. head turning evolution and my music. And, and so, and then like, and once again with the music shit though, like I didn't, I didn't know he was a rapper. Even I got, along with the clothes. I, 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 I thought he was like a designer. Uh, do stuff for the community. Like he came out with Hood Day, which is it, it, it explain everybody to what Hood Day is. We're gonna get to the other part in a minute, but explain what Hood Day is. Tell them what the neighborhood is. You know what I'm saying? Neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? The neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the short term of a neighborhood rolling city to crib. We got a neighborhood, you know what exactly. other sets too, but you know what I'm saying? This, this is representation of us. It's and the whole family, you know what I'm saying? Everybody we got neighbors, you know what I'm saying? We are our neighbors, you know what I'm saying? We're all neighbors. And, it got, I think it got out of control. You know what I'm saying? To where we didn't know who our neighbor was. So I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get people back for me. Because certain things happened where, you know what I'm saying, people stopped fucking with people, people threw crosses, or, you know what I'm saying, people believe one thing and this here. And then what happened when, you know what I'm saying, when, because this, in the end of the day, this, this is a game, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's not here for the real purpose. Everybody had a problem. So, so that problem's going to occur. So some people didn't want to be accountable for the problem, but at the end of the day, Everything need to be brought to a table. You know what I'm saying? And like, and, 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 and let, let, to let y'all know, man, Hood Day is not no, it's not promoting the no, game. We're not, we're not, we're not promoting it's no for the kids, it's for the community, it's for the kids. It, it be grown folks out there. The path, the preachers come through. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hood event because yeah, we're, we're lining people up to vote and everything. If anybody is from a city like Shreveport, y'all know that the city itself is not going to do anything for the, the black communities. So the black people that's in the community have to create day, I mean, uh, uh, no funding. Or stuff like this to create days like this. I had no funding. Yeah, no funding. No funding. And, 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 you, and, and, and you, you, how long you been doing this? Probably about four or five years? Since 2013. Okay, nine nine years he been doing this. I skipped one year. And, and it's, it's on YouTube, y'all. Y'all check out that hood, that the hand mm -hmm. uh hood day shit, man. It's on. It's, it's I. That's why I, I, I played the video today. I, I shared the video today on on Facebook, and and people that's not aware of people that's like green horn and don't understand, they might look at the video. Oh, he promoting gang violence. No, it's, it's a lot of us that understand that video right there was just. I could have posted two other, three other videos of him. But I'm gonna do that one. I'm surprised you're still on the lake. This is gonna be the intro. 
I yeah. said, well, I'm not on YouTube. Oh, I, 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 I got, I got, I got all the fucking yeah. video clubs. Yeah, YouTube. yeah. And dude, I, I, I have to do what I want to do. Right and I feel like in my accord, for me anyway, I had to put, I had to post neighbors video because uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm affiliated with neighbors and they're my own boys and I'm from neighbors and that's what that is. So I had to promote it with that. And then everybody else, the world, whoever can see it, without having to go click on YouTube to see it. I want them to I see it. I appreciate that too. That's just what I do. You know what and uh, yeah, neighborhood, they, they, I want everybody to know that video wasn't about, uh, he provides for the community, for the city. And at the same time, the one that like, you know what I'm saying, the homie that gone, that, you know what I'm saying, that, that they sacrificed their life for this, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know what I'm saying, we not, like I say, it's a thin line I have to walk because I'm not trying to promote violence, but at the same time, I don't want my own boy that locked up a dead to be in there in vain. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm taking, I'm, 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 I'm learning from what their mistake was, and, you know what I'm saying? My home boy, on the way down here, my, you know what I'm saying? My home boy, Mother Grip called me. You know what I'm saying? He ain't there telling, he not, when he called, he ain't calling and talking about, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, make sure you kill such and such, or, you know what I'm saying? We beefing with such and such. He not, he not calling out here talking about that. He calling him, man, be safe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do nothing to come in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the homies say, good vibes only. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, so with you, uh, with you, uh, doing those community shit, the stuff like that, you also have got major artists to the city. Something that most, something that the radio station can't, like, they, what is, what is? KMJJ? KMJJ, I, I've been yeah. going for the city a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. KMJJ, KMJJ, uh, who else is it? Uh, uh 103. 103. So you have brought J Stone, which, but shout out to my boy Lucky, man. Lucky had, my nigga Lucky out here. Uh, he, he got put into that. You brought MC8 out there, right? Did you also get Sebo? Yeah. Who else you got out there? Somebody else. Gangsta Boo. Gangsta, I was at Gangsta Boo shit. Yeah. So you, does, you brought artists to the city that radio stations haven't brought to the city. Yeah. Was, even if they could, they didn't. Yeah. So, uh, that's what I really, that's the, how do you, I, how do you pull those strings like that, man? What kind of public master do you use? I just reach out, you know what I'm saying? When I reach out, then they, you know what I'm saying? They do their research, and I guess they see what type of person I am, or they do super their whatever solid, they do, like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, big you know sack say super solid. They do that, you know what I'm saying? They do that, and Big Mike. Don't forget Big Mike when get on for a legendary Big Mike. Yeah, Big Mike, man, he do I that I got a song with Big Mike. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought he moved a little bit. They moved it back right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big Mike, Big Mike, real, Big Mike, you know what I'm saying? My Big Mike from New Orleans. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was doing Christian music for a minute. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Play, play, uh. Big Mike don't get the, don't, he don't get the, he don't get the recognition he should. Something serious, man. Something serious is a classic. For real, something serious. Something serious. One and two. The song's something serious. He ripped it. Yeah. But somebody ripped it. The song is still serious. Still serious, but second one. I like that. The Burbers and the Pollers. Straight up. Yeah, all that. You didn't hear me all that. Right, don't that deep. You might not listen to all in the dream. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm in there. You know, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm in there. You, know, Big Mike. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I'm an old pace guy. I had me, me and Big Mike and Mr. Mike and Charlie Mo. Yeah, we was all talking in the conversation and messaging uh, for my old pace guy. Hack me. Yeah, for this page though. That's why I really was mad though because I had some I had some shit going with that page. I was in. Everybody who I can fuck with, that shit was 15, that's the page 15 years old. Even when I was locked up, that page existed. So everything, all the memories, these conversations I had, it's like, this is it's disconnected now because I'm, I'm sitting to these same people who I was having a business conversation with. Yeah. And everybody, uh, come, uh, and they don't recognize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, they, they think it's some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I hate that shit. But yeah, like you were saying, Mr. Uh, Big Mike, you was fucking with Big Mike. Y'all brought Big Mike. I brought Big Mike the same y'all brought Jay Stone. We came, they came together. I tripped that, and that's when I like, yeah. So, which which moves me to the fact, like, I, I gotta, I gotta, you gotta salute a nigga that don't have to move out of a, a, a city like Shreveport. Yeah. But, uh, we, we not consider, uh, we, I'm gonna tell you what the, the, the best way to describe Shreveport. It's a big, small city. Yep. It's a small town that, that's up on everything. Whether it's in New York, Seattle, Washington, Africa, Miami, 
it is some, somehow we accumulate and gravitate to whatever is going on. We don't be regional. Like, but we love that, we, we love that Louisiana shit and Ratchet shit, but everything is given to us from each way. And that's what I think is it's why I love being where I'm from, man, because you only can be this way being from Shreveport. You can't, I don't see, like, and I meet so many people, man, from, from New Jersey, Delaware, Texas, all the prison. And it's just, yeah, like, yeah. Everybody don't have the the yeah. antennas we have. Right on, for real. Because we don't know we city or country. <clears throat> yeah. So we, we 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 just go on our own way. That's why I love being who I am and knowing the shit I know. But uh, you you coming with the uh, we're coming up with J Stone and having them people on the show. I'm like, damn, how this dude right here? So, the point I'm trying to make, somebody like you that's still in Shreveport is doing this shit. You don't feel like you have to move out the city to even get bigger. You think if you move to Atlanta or Miami, you'll pull a bigger ass? Yeah, I do. I feel that way, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, that's what it probably would come to. Do you it want to? But you don't really have to. I don't, I don't have to, but I, I want to I want to experience living somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because you like the new baby of the city. Because I done went, yeah. But ah, I, yeah, yeah, he's the new, I hate to say it. Yeah, but that, you know what I'm saying? He, oh, yeah. I mean, he inspired me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I take, I take, baby, I take, I take, good, I take but, blueprint from everywhere to, you know what I'm saying, to compile or what, you know what I'm saying? I want to do. You know I'm, I'm not in the city. I don't know. I'm on the outside looking in pretty much. Yeah. On the outside looking in, it seems to me that you're the baby. That, they, we, that we had yeah, yeah. to work people. I appreciate that. That's a, that's a you know, little compliment. Like, you know, I appreciate I'm, that. If there's anybody, anybody else out there that's doing something, let me know. I don't know. Man, my boy, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got you know what I'm saying? My boy, Rose, you know what I'm saying? The style, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? Rose, you make move. I fuck with Rose, strong. You know what I'm saying? He, they, matter of fact, they're doing the boat party tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Down. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what doing. That's what doing. I'm fucking with them. With Shout that. out to Shreveport, man. And we in Dallas right now, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody, man. Brooklyn, Motown, Queensbury, Lakeside, the, the Hill, Allen there the bottom. Uh, shit, the north side most definitely, nigga. The Brunswick, North Texas, Cherokee Park, Highland Park, Grimm Drive, uh, Cooper Road, North Lakewood, what it is, Pine Hill Road, all that shit. Straight up. <laughs> uh, Hollywood, Ingleside, Morningside, City Grove, shit, Waterside. Yeah, Pines Road. Well, we got okay. some of the hood. Even Bogey City, y'all. Straight up. Hey, guess what? Bogey City. Hey, if you from Shreveport, because y'all love Bosco. Everybody love. Hey, hey, last time that I checked, y'all love Bosco. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Y'all tune in this show, man. To my Jack Quarter, Bogey City, or what? What that shit is out there, man? And go uh, off uh, Airline Drive or Bill Road. Swan Lake. Swan Lake. Yeah. Hey, hey, what? Everybody yeah. tap in. She ain't wrong with drive. Shit. She ain't wrong. But I got some shit I got to get into, though, before, uh, before the show. Yeah, let me check some shit right quick. I want to make sure my shit right in the camera yeah, straight. Because yeah, yeah. he got the mic in his hand. And he, right um, around? We still, okay, we halfway through the show. So, well, we still got more than that, though. So now, I don't know if you was finished with would you, would, you, would you finish about the uh, point about uh, the... Or, or one, no, no, no. no. You was, so, yeah, before we even get to where we're going. So how how did you doing what you're doing, how... How did you make the moves happen, man? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Stone, like... No, you got gangsta. You know, I, I, I was in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? When I met, you know what I'm saying? When I, I had the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? And my homeboy that with me, they, my, you know what I'm saying? They, I'm, you know, I don't use the word support as much, but I got a support, you know what I'm saying? Team with proof, my proof, we consider two, three people. Okay. And we were dying, and they like, and they like, man, going up there, you know what I'm saying? We were dying for, you know what I'm saying? We were before they did the hard rock, and the hard rock, you know what I'm saying? I remember that. So we, I'm dying up, you know what I'm saying? We dying up. So he come out the back door. But when he come out the back door, he in the parking lot in the back. But the female rush, you know what I'm saying? So I already know how that rock, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, but I'm, I'm taking the, I'm taking the stance of why, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna come in between that at this moment, you know what I'm saying? And that's an opportunity that I miss, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm knowing how some rappers don't, and they got that going on at that point in time, or they were doing what they want to do with the fans. 
I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of your music, but at the same time, I want to do business and you from. I want to let you know the homies down here too. What you seen us, you know what I'm saying? We had down here in the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Right at the front. So we going to introduce ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I was going to highlight them, but I ain't get, you know what I'm saying? When I seen the crowd run to the back and the females already waiting on them, we just, like, I said, we just catch them. Like, because I, you know what I'm saying? I know how to get to them. So when that, you know what I'm saying? So when that happened, you know what I'm saying? I reached out to Drake Stone and everything. Went over, I'm like, well, yeah, I, I got to get somebody from the Marathon family. I got all you know what I'm saying? Deep. I got to let these people know that, shit, y'all got niggas that's fucking with that down here. And y'all, it's a perfect you know time. Yeah. Like when Charles and White were talking about niggas on, when Charles and White say, Man, <laughs> Charles and White says, nobody know about no fucking this stuff until they, until they died down here. That's some bullshit. See, Charles and White, he want them niggas who was under a rock. Yeah. He just got popular and all this shit. Then he started, he started to catch up with everything. All he knows is when he, what was going on before he went to jail and when he came home. That nigga right there was a raggedy ass nigga from Fort Worth. Yeah. And all of a sudden he got popular. And then he made it seem like he. And I ain't gonna lie, some of the shit he say makes a little sense. But he knew a lot of bullshit. But the message, yeah, 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 the, yeah, the message that with it, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, that's why I was talking about, I said, literally in there every day. Jeez. So about the video he made about Street Boy, right? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Now, in 2020, 2020, uh, when the pandemic hit, we all sitting in the house, we got until that nigga then. Oh, yeah. Me, Roach. Oh, somebody told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told me that. Yeah. 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 Me and him yeah. going back and forth. Yeah, that's, why, that's why we're looking at the same shit he was saying. Me, like, he, he, had, he was going at, it was a nigga that named Pruning Cup Road. I am Oak Club. Yeah. Yeah. niggas. He was going into it. Like, yeah. But it was behind Dynamite. Yeah. My boy, my homeboy Dynamite, I don't even know Dynamite. No, no, no. King Grind and Scott on Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 cut hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. Dynamite. So Dynamite, him and Dynamite was going in it. And then Dynamite tagged me. He tagged me, Duck, a couple other niggas from the north or whatever. And then Johnson and the homie Duck, been my North Duck in the state yeah, yeah, right yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So he tagged, shit. Yeah, he tagged us, man. We was just when he going out. And what I did, I added a few people on that I guess the people from my line, they grab it, that they don't like a nigga, and they got on it. So we got into with this nigga way back then. Yeah. Now, that video he did four or five months ago about Street Port, I thought he forgot about that shit to be on it. So somebody on there, yeah. on, his, on his shit, what you think about Street Port? They really shouldn't have did that, but, but they, 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 they was from Street Boy. Yeah, yeah. They know what they feel about Street Boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm like, saying? Leave that shit alone. So they did it. He went 30 minutes off. He went 30 minutes about Street Boy. Yeah, yeah. He, he ain't been to Street Boy, man. Come on, dude. Nah. And you won't go to Street Boy. And, 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 and same way, what happened, though, I'm, I don't want to go in. I ain't going to say too much, but I got to say, I knew what type of nigga the nigga was when he went and 600 Breeze and approached him. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't do nothing with none of that. None of that. And it was a situation that happened before that. We really said the bitch should have batted him yeah. in shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Just let him know. But he did another show. This man ain't never talking. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't have would been there bumping around and he, the shit you playing now in the same place. But, you know what I'm saying? They come with, I don't know how much they pay him to do that. How much you get paid for that. But you just, that's what you do to get paid. You got to better move careful. Yeah, Charles White, man. I mean, he, he makes sense sometimes, but he just go off. He just trying to fuck with people's head. And you just got to play chess with the nigga, man. If he going on, he talking about, like, like, he started to say, he started to disrespect the sex now by saying the uh, the bad, you know, the fuck with people. If, if y'all stop watching this video, the only, the only people that, who are watching these videos are, and paying attention to this guy every time are the people who are not about their life but don't understand their life. They just love entertainment. Yeah, and they in bed all day. But another choice of white man, I want to get to you, man, since you being a rapper from Shreveport, man, and you know about music a lot. Uh, what you think about the uh, the local music scene at Shreveport? Oh, the talent. I talent, you know what I'm saying? I, I, shit, that's, every time I throw a show, I'm bringing, you know what I'm saying, my favorite niggas, you know what I'm saying? So what names I see? I post a lot of rappers as videos, yeah. artists from Shreveport, my boy, Click Clack. You know, Click Clack, Trey Solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. He sent me these rappers, D O M, Definition of Music. Yeah, my buddy home, I know he on a neighbor remix. We know a neighbor remix, D O M. So I'm uh, Shot the Dom. It's a lot of talent I've been getting. I've been getting a lot of hidden talent at Street Point because I fuck with my niggas, Mr. Wode and my homie, Big Sack, and Banks, Big King, the nigga from the north side. Oh, yeah, music. I fuck with all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh them niggas, J J. J Rockstar Jamie, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me call. Brian Johnson, welcome home, Brian Johnson. Bring it up. My nigga, BJ, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what's your take on the music industry? Because I thought if Blue Benji when he got killed, man, he'll be like, like Buck Cole. And I know it's probably his mama. Shout out to Buck Cole. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh. uh uh, Number talent, you know what I'm saying? They got they hit with the benefits. Why she put all this talent, man? Why? It's, it's, she should be like Memphis. I'm gonna tell you one thing from the other side of it though. A lot of the artists that are no they are artists, but you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we do I we have started doing I tell a shout out to my boy DJ Tron. Social Ghost in this bitch too, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Social Ghost. We put that together, you know what I'm saying? We, we doing yeah. the show, some of the artists, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily directly from Shreveport, the surrounding area. If you got y'all platform, y'all don't even promote y'all self. You gotta promote your secret, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you cold, we, everybody feel like they cold, but you're not gonna, you don't feel like you should promote yourself? And you ain't lying about that shit, man. Like, I had so many rappers out here in Dallas, man, that I interviewed, man, like over the last five years. They think if they come on my show, that's what I, it's my promotion gonna help them get out there. First of all, they have to promote the fact that they come on my show. Yeah. Make my show big, yeah. to make they self big. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. You see what I did, I, I, I shared the song, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and rappers, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you just can't, you don't expect nobody. Now the one, and, and, and I, I, I want to clear it up for like, you know what I'm saying? They feel like they not getting paid. They shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Promote it, but they don't know how far they go. Cause uh, you feel like you got a, uh, I feel like they got a platform of their own. You know what I'm saying they don't want that, the they platform to spill over to somebody else's platform. You know what I'm saying? You may have five thousand friends. I seen this firsthand. I watched it. You know what I'm saying? You got five thousand friends. I got three thousand friends, but. It's more people here based on me. That's why I got the platform to do the show. Because I'm knowing the people I fuck with going to come out. Yeah. That, 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 you know what I'm saying? That, that internet friendship. You know what I'm saying? I'm really in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't get too excited about that. Because I just go to the head. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. I got these, man. I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? You need to promote yourself. You know what I'm saying? Get them people and push them to come out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so, different by having them friends on so, Facebook to get them to come to a venue. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so give the people a list of... Let's go, we're gonna go with six. Six rappers out of Shreveport that you should tell them to. Or not, 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 fuck it, not just rappers, artists. Man, pretty famous, you know what I'm saying? Y'all you know that boy, the fool. Shout out to pretty famous. You know what I'm saying? Pretty famous in the building. Man, in the building. Get out of here, no, or something. Pretty famous in the building. Oh, it's, it's pretty famous in the building, though. Yes, indeed. Ah! You know what I'm saying? Uh, My boy, Fido. You know what I'm saying? My boy Marty Millions, you know what I'm saying? Dumb, man, DZ Kane, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard of DZ Kane. DZ Kane from the road. Yeah. Man, shit, you know what I'm saying? And Banks, you know what I'm saying? These legends, you know what I'm saying? Who else, man? Goody G, you know what I'm saying? Goody G, yeah. Sneaky D, you know what I'm saying? Who's my big, who's my big, my boy Big Sack, Mr. Boy? Man, Big Sack, Big Sack, Big Boy, the album Papa. right now, Big Papa, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bring that beat town entertainment shit back. Big Papa is a legend. Wild, wild, yellow legend, you know what I'm saying? Bah, bah, bah. These people are going to be forever, you know what I'm saying? In that top, you know what I'm saying? I, though, when I first did the show, I brought Big Papa. My first show when I brought him, say Big Papa was, you know what I'm saying? On the same show. MCA. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing He's nothing. Up, I got he somebody that's in this I got to get Wild Yellow. I've been reaching out to Wild Yellow, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't, had, I ain't got the regular tune, you know what I'm saying? And the people I sent the word to, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I went, went. But yeah, why y'all the one, you know what I'm saying? Been had talent, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all, my nigga, in the, in the beginning, if y'all are listening and y'all paying attention. Magazine he, Coleman, that nigga, Magazine he's Coleman. Not even capping, y'all. Magazine he's Coleman, though, they were the fashion he's magazine. Coleman. Shout out to Salute, my, he, my, 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 my he magazine. He didn't even sound like he capping. You know he didn't even care, he just talking what he does and what he do and what he about to do. And, and guess what? He brought MC8 to Shreveport. Pulled up a consumer with him. Like, From that point. Nobody, these are people who I wanted to see when I was living in Shreveport. Nigga had the gun, you know what I'm saying? Nigga had the gun, you broke a part of the airport, but you had a piece of the part. People gonna be like, oh, he bought MC8 when he 
the day and time that I, I see female get irritated with nigga after nigga after nigga approaching them. Some female don't be bothered, so I didn't make them. I don't. I don't even approach females to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? So, but the females that approach me to talk to me, when I find out and get into it with and get to learn it all, they all have been abused some type yeah. of way. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I, I like think right, calling, but I can't. I can help you as much as I can, but I can't let you take me into the route that you are part of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got no one. Oh, this is enough. I done my part. But, but they know you know you're here to talk to. Yeah, but don't. But I'm not the good guy because the good guy get fucked over. So that's why I gotta fight the fuck. That's all they want, though. Yeah. That's all yeah. they want. They want this one somebody to listen to them, no matter you want. Just they care. So yeah. like. I, but I don't, but don't, I can't keep, I can't boost you up to go out there yeah, and, and yeah. come back and, and take more of my energy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you know but you know what you want out of every situation with. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, like, but I didn't know about, you know what I'm saying, how far as like, once you understand what's coming to you, the aura and the energy and the vibes, you got to know, you got to protect that because it's not only them to protect that for you. Yeah. They're not conscious of what, you know what I'm saying, of how much, you know what I'm saying, energy that you pouring into them until you, Show them, uh, tell them like, hold it up. No, you don't. You're not. You don't think I gave you? You don't think this inconsiderate of my time? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not. You gonna pay me to be your counselor? But I'm really counseling but, you. But but that's where some of them they, now they 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 they, 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 they end up going to their home girls then. Yeah. See, 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 guess what? See now when they go, I I the dudes don't want to listen to what they saying. They go to their home girls and give the home girls. Them. Advertise the whole situation and tell them, ah, fuck that nigga. Wait yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait up. I don't even tell y'all. You don't even listen. I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm 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 not gonna compete with them. They said, but guess what? Some of them, they go to the, before they even get to that, they go to the homegirls first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the girls, the home, whoever they talking to, gonna tell them some shit that they don't even, they, they not even aware about. Yeah. Or whoever, I mean, they, I, I hope niggas don't go to their homeboys talking about their relationship. Cause I don't, I mean, I don't think no niggas should go talk to their homeboys. I mean, any grown nigga should go talk to their homeboys about what's going on with their relationship or their household. Nigga, nigga, you need to talk to yourself. I talk, I talk, where's the pen? I got, I got two of them I talk to, I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> but, okay, don't talk to just anybody. Nah, no, yeah, 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 I got two of them I'm going to say. Don't be able to talk to anybody just to vent, and then I think vent. Because I want to make sure I ain't tripping. So you got to go to the right source, don't just Yeah, yeah, I don't know anybody. Nah, they, they rely on the source, you know what I'm saying, one or two. I want, one thing, I, first of all, if I'm, I'm going to go to either to a motherfucker who's going to keep it raw. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm going to go to a motherfucker that's it. In, in a relationship. Well, yeah, they're they, they gonna, they, they they gonna, gonna get outside of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it don't gotta be just with relationships. With, with, with anything, like, if I got something going on on this end, I'm gonna go holler at somebody who's who's adjacent to this situation. Yeah. And understand what's going on. To talk to if I talk to. But I ain't gonna lie, most of the time on situations, though, Bosco, I talk to myself. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk to no nigga, man. Nobody can get. I talk to myself too much. They think that no, because I think I think everybody a slow leak. Oh yeah, yeah. Know the slow leak is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually they gonna let out something. Yeah, but I did, did 20, 30, did twenty year plus. They ain't never let out nothing. So. I mean, but yeah, well, I'm feeling it, but like, even I mean, just people like, I, I'm cautious about telling people anything. It's good though because. They are slow. I feel like I treat yeah, them like a slow yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 not, they might don't say everything right out top, yeah. but eventually down the line they've been told everything. Yeah, and yeah. everything could be gone out there. Yeah, and that's what I call. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have nobody to the group where to talk to. I talk to myself because one thing about me: if I dig a hole, nobody know how I dig above me, so I know how to crawl out that bitch myself. Yeah, you can't crawl out this hole because you don't know how I dig it. Yeah. So I'm like, they, 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 they can let somebody put a hand out. Uh, if I'm telling you my story, they wouldn't give you the, yeah. the, uh, the power to tell my story for me differently. Yeah, it, that, 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 that goes to say, yeah, you know, that's a leak head, right? And, and they came back to me from the circuit too for 20 years, so that's the only reason I can rely on, you know what I'm saying? And they, they uh, know why it's not that. So, uh, okay. We can go to the speaker. Let's go to the speaker. But yeah, man. Uh, uh, what I was saying though, in the apartment, like I was saying, it's couldn't get to keep that podcast so y'all hit the subscribe button and the dislike button.
Hit the comment button and tell everybody about it. Share with your friends and family. Hit the dislike button. Don't like all the smoke. Like all the smoke. Um, we was talking about uh, the city of Shreveport. And uh, I was about to move to the fact that uh, you were saying, uh, okay, yeah, this is what I'm about to get to. The city of Shreveport, man. The mayor. You remember that one? Because, come on, uh, wait. Oh, come on, wait. That's all the politics. Yeah, the mayor. The mayor. I want to get to the. First of all, this is what I want to get to. What's going? What's going to take for Shreveport to upgrade? Like, they did Uri Drive. Uh, Shreveport Drive. Uh, what's going to take for Shreveport to upgrade? Like, they did Uri Drive. Uri Drive. Area in the Bowie City area. And uh, on Airline Drive. And uh, it should be more of a commercial area, like in part of the Shreveport, and also on the South Side part of Shreveport, like on Mansfield Road. Because those are like areas that that have their residents that need their commercial. What is what is gonna take for that to happen? Because evidently, uh, it's like I feel like she will deteriorate every time I go. I don't know what it, I, I don't I don't have. No, that's one another thing about me that I don't want to speak on the thing that I, I know. You know what I'm saying now, as far as that, as far as are you in depth speaking as far as the infrastructure? Or the roads, or uh, streets are bad. The streets are bad. Oh, uh, you saying business wise, or, 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 or what? What I'm saying. Well, I feel like this: if you can build some casinos, and y'all got another casino there, right? Valleys. Yeah. Why you can't build no more like restaurants in the commercial area in the suburbs, or no, like you got in. But you know, it comes for, for like for, for, for restaurants and all that. They you know oh, that's, that's like, private. That ain't bad based on the city. Now the city can. Can can reach out and stand and tell certain restaurants or chain or franchises well, to come here. And we got certain bank breaks. what I'm saying. Here, what I'm saying. Every area I hear in the DMW area that look like it's not being used or utilized. Yeah. I should say it's getting built on. Because it's the economy. Point. The economy. So the economy play a part in that. You know what I'm saying? They feel like the DMW area is lucrative and they you know what I'm saying. It's the way that they feel like they will make money. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got the whole metro plex to play with. And I got a good enough food or a good enough product, even though I'm in Addison or in Plano, a person to drive from, you know what I'm saying, Arlington or Dallas or, you know what I'm saying, a Garland. If they, you know what I'm saying, but they find out what I got here. Three or, 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 or what you got going on is good when yeah. you extend to that area yeah, yeah, because yeah. they would, because then eventually the Arlington residents would get tired of driving out that way where they would go. Yeah, and if they're good, yeah, yeah it would, you know what I'm saying? They would see that, okay, yeah. So, so that's how that would end up going. Yeah, but three uh, points, and then why ain't they have that much area to play with? If, I feel like, I feel like if Shreveport utilized some of the money they did into the casinos and other aspects, it'd be a better. But the casino, the casino is not actually built by the city, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The casino is allowed to come up for, you know what I'm saying, get the tax break. The casino to come from, you know what I'm saying, the Jack Billion, you know what I'm saying, was Jack, you know what I'm saying, on Horseshoe, which is, you know what I'm saying, started in Vegas, which are under the Ballast, you know what I'm saying, franchise. You know what I'm saying? So, so they, so they, so they have to, they have to give them people something, which is tax break to say, man, come here and we'll give y'all certain, you know what I'm saying, incentives, you know what I'm saying, to come here and we're going to, y'all pay this here. And it's like a give it, it's an exchange. But it's not like we're gonna y'all we're gonna build this for you and let y'all make money. That, that's that's all that's a private and you know what I'm saying company. Cause I mean it's like you would think a place like Shreveport or Louisiana, the property is cheap. Not no no, not no more. The property is just higher than the well scrap field. And now that, that's, that's another problem why the, the buildings are abandoned. Cause they wanna they wanna charge uh Las Vegas property value for the property, and when there's not a Las Vegas economy, and, and they start and they start to lose. And those. that's not on the city. That's so, on the people that own so, these buildings. And, so, and, and, and it's called financial empowerment to the point where I got enough money. I sit on this building for. I also, I, 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 I will to say this: Oklahoma is a deflation for Shreveport Bulger because yeah, once yeah, they started yeah. they, stu they they can see those the little two or three they got up there. It stopped that 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 uh at least North Texas, East Texas, uh travel. Only, only people that come to Texas they go to Shreveport to gamble. 
are from Longview or Marshall or Tyler. They're not fixing to try to Oklahoma, at least they just want to take a, a run to yeah, ride. Yeah. So when Oklahoma they open up their shit, that's fucked up Shreveport. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, like New Orleans in the same state. Yeah. Didn't affect it at all. But once Oklahoma opened up in a different state, this yeah. name is close. Yeah. We was getting all that Texas. Like, uh -huh. Shreveport yeah. Bowles was getting all that, sh that Texas traffic. Yeah, and it boomed the economy for a minute. It boomed. I used to pull up in the garage. Shit, nigga, last year I was there. When I came to your... I pulled up in the garage. I went to the casino. And all I seen in the garage were Texas plates. It's money going to be Texas people. So, for one thing, the home don't really just consume into the shit. They go back to the economy, though. How many people in Shreveport getting paid? People from Shreveport, people from Shreveport, when they go to... The, when they go to the casinos, they either going to clock in or they just going in and walk around and get some drinks. Only people they gonna spend big money in Street no, and the money though. But Shreveport is a retirement home city. Yep. And it's a struggle because Shreveport is more than that. But the people that have retired and in the same generation that, that were coming after that to retire, their money is kept on it to gamble. You know what I'm saying? To pay politicians to suit the suit they need to make sure that it stays how it is, you know what I'm saying? Because everything that comes up, it gets shut down. So I will you know I, I do they got the potential. I do want to throw this out there though. There was a time where I heard a shooting going on in this report every day on Facebook. I haven't heard about a shooting in about about four months in this report. But it's a hurricane, it's still going down every day. <laughs> I only, it's like, I think, okay, Shreveport is probably going to stress behavior on a long time. It's still going down. Cause I think hearing about Shreveport, all, it's like, it gets to me real quick. Yeah, it's still, I don't know why you hear it, you know what I'm saying? The last oh, week's been hectic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's hey. bad, you know what I'm saying? Hey. It's, real, it's real bad. Hey. And the city's too small to, for it to be that bad. And everybody knows somebody that know that somebody. And then that's why I come in with the, you know what I'm saying, conflict resolution. Now you gotta solve these problems can be solved. You get out of hand too easily. The value of life is well, well, not taking, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, taking seriously. No, 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 no what causes a, a place like Shreveport to, uh, or just that area of Louisiana to uh, gravitate be like places like uh, Mansfield, Keysville. Um, yeah. What's the other they other? come up here, but they go, they stop short. They got to, they come to the city. Dealing, yeah, matches. but they go to such spot. Yeah, everybody was it. like, come together on one puzzle and make it metropolitan. Yeah, yeah. Like Dallas is, it's a good market. It would be. Because everybody with the good ideas live out of LB Road. You know, you know one spot they made to him, they brought all the people together? Coco Pillars. Yeah. Yeah. Cocoa. This is what made Coco Pillars successful. We got East Texas, all of, and all the surrounding country towns, and, you know what I'm saying? I'm the tell you what it's, it's, it's a real shit. You know what I'm saying? When it's a real shit. That's what they wanted. When, when it's a real shit, y'all, I I think about my life, how it would be if I would have never left Streetport and I was still there. I would be pissed off when I have an H and H. Players Club and Coco Pellets there. Yeah. And, and, and Players Club was exempted out of, they just say, if, without H&H and, H and Coco Pellets, I couldn't stay in Street Yeah. Even grown at 45. At some, <laughs> at, at some point in my life, at this time in my life. Yeah, you're, I, you're better just, you're just. I want to go to, I, I want to, like on a Wednesday night at Coco Pellets, like, like tonight. Man, no, they, no, they, no, they, no, they no. weird the motherfucker. Like, 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 like,
Hey, I was in Millennium then. I was in Club hey, Millennium. I, 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 I went there too. Yeah, no, I was. I went to Club, Club Congress. Yeah, they were Club Congress. I've been to H&H since I was in junior high school. Yeah, yeah. My brother, a bottom boy. Yeah, you hold up. Oreo, Gigolo, Big O, Car, What are your brother's name? I was locked up with it. Jelly Roll, my brother. Nah, oh, the, the bright one. They got the cross in the, you know what I'm saying? It's two Jelly Roll, baby. Jelly Roll, it's, it's Jelly Roll. They got another brother. Had to, they told me it was from the bottom. Yeah. Bright skin. I was locked up with him in, uh, in Monroe. My, my brother was locked up in Texas, with Old Paris, Winfield, and somewhere else. It, it was Richland Paris, but you know what I'm saying? Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah, but. It's Richland Paris. But Damn. What, what I'm saying, though. Little Rand, shout out to Little Rand, the man from the bottom. Hey, Little, little Rand, but yeah, I, like, the thing about it, Ace and Ace, like, what I'm saying, doing the, doing the Blue Dolphin Yellow Gator time. Ooh. This is this when Ace, this is when Players Club was right there on, on Market Street, and it closed it down, and then they moved Coco, remember Small Coco Pellets? Yeah, with the warehouse. Yeah, 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 I used to leave, I, I used to hang right. out at, I used to hang out at H and H from from eleven to two o'clock and at two o'clock I go downtown to play a club or eight or, or Coco Pet. Y'all locked up with a club. 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 You missed your time. You know what I'm saying? You missed them days. Yeah. I used to hang up my boy. But the what no saying the old Coco well, you know what I'm saying, was the spot I was doing stuff. When I when I got jail, that's when Coco Pet is where the warehouse was at. I come in there, I picked up right where I left off. I was gone already, but I can't ask him to come visit. Yeah, yeah. When I came and visit, I was there with the MC and them. Yeah. Uh, with the, the big sack. Yeah. Uh, all of them. Mm -hmm. I, 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 everybody from the north side, I was with the little man Coco Pellets. We cleared in the corner by the bathroom. And all. Yeah, well, they still were hanging there with no man. The big, the big Coco? Yeah, yeah, the big Coco. Yeah, that'd be right there in the back. Yeah. We used to bring motherfuckers from Cali, yeah. from here to Sh Sh Shreveport with us to go to Coco. They like, ain't no, they, they, like every club out here, they had shit. You know what I'm saying? About, you know what I'm saying? My boy Nut, trying to my boy Nut. MC Cousin. MC Cousin. So you know what I'm saying? We in the back. We in the back. Yeah, but we in the back. So let's go to the back ball. MC started coming over there, so he, he gravitated bump and all the Paul tried to bump and Paul. Oh, bump, you know what I'm Dre goes. Yeah, all of them they, all oh, come over there. So we had all of the back ball. Yeah, she was staying you know with that though for a minute. Yeah, yeah. She did it when I was going out there. Like. Right back and forth from the back, you know what I'm saying, to the back booth where they were. They come over there to, by the bar. We all, we in the back bar. That was our spot, you know what I'm saying? He's right when uh, me and MC first got out of our jokes. But uh, yeah, because I used to yeah. holler at uh, Lower Lot and Lowy City. I'm over here with nothing in them shit. We bring all them, we bring all them motherfuckers. I wonder why MC ain't there. Other homie Elbow, we be in that big Bobo. We in that thing, you know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? R.B. Debo, we cut up in the cocoa. We got yeah. to cut up our mom, yeah. you know? People don't, people, don't, people, don't, people, don't, people don't understand that Shreveport party life, man. Hey, what's we get back to? I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about. And I don't know if you was locked up then. When they fucked up the Red River District, Oh, locked up. But I heard about it. it ain't, it Wet like, Willies. I I, but it was, it was still, it was just getting fucked up as I was coming home. But I had a, I had a I, magazine. I, I, I left when it was going on. Yeah. No I man. left when it was hot, though. Yeah. But see, nigga didn't fuck it up. Damn, police don't want to do their job. Yeah. And both the nigga just trimming the fight, you get them out of there. This is what I'm And there's another thing about business. Look at this. Look at it right now. Same thing with, with, with the boardwalk. The boardwalk is almost abandoned right now. Not because, you know what I'm saying? You got, if these businesses going to operate, you can't run their clowns here at all. You can't say it. No hat turn backwards. You make these rules. The, the, the stores ain't making these rules. This is the premises. They spending money. But you make, but yeah, but you making the people that pay rent yeah. lose money because you're running their customers off. Yeah, well, How long do you think they're going to stay here and pay you rent when they ain't yeah, making no money? If I, got a, if I got a business and a dude is saying that is paying with a head to the back, come here and spend his money with me. Let them do that shit. Yeah, but they go, this is discrepancy. The, 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 the ball won't have their rules. But that don't and, do that and shit. the same either. thing, but don't you know say this is what the difference is. Them you know what I'm saying? For some reason, they don't, they hold everybody accountable. The same way in jail, when a nigga in a dome and one nigga do something, they lock the whole dome down. They're the same mind, mind frame they have on the streets when you fuck it up, we're gonna shut the whole thing yeah. down. Yeah. Versus yeah. getting the motherfucker that's fucking it up. I like, it's like, uh, well, when this man, that, that whole downtown yeah. building, I got not seen that. I, when I ride back home, that was something that Shreveport needed. When I ride back, when I ride home, right, when I go visit my mama, then my mama still stay in Cherokee Park. When 
When I exit off 29, I exit on Market Street. I, I hit that ride on Sunset. So I ride that little Clyde Fan part to go to the back part of the hood. Yeah. And I see how the Red River District. And I used to tell, like, this shit used to be live. All this shit, man, on a Friday, Saturday night. We'll be stuck in the red like for five, ten minutes because we ain't gonna make the next one. That's how live is go down. I used to, I used to be, like, I used to go to, I used to go to H and H and hustle and go downtown. I ain't going up in the club, brothers, Voodoo Player Club or, 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 or Coco Pelly. I don't gotta go in there. I already, my move already been made. Yeah, I'm, I'm out here just playing now. I made my money at H and H. I'm gonna go down here and tell me I'm on a blue gate up like yellow dog or whatever they call it. I'm on all that shit. <laughs> and, and, and I'm good, I'm jigging, and I'm cool. I'm gonna have, that's why I was hanging, you gotta stop. I'm gonna back out of what a I was thinking I was chicken. I was thinking I was I'm hanging on a nigga six, seven years older than me. My brother, my brother homeboy, Jigolo, Carl Pratt, Oreo. Yeah. Cookie Man, you know, Lil Rich, but you know, Black Baby. Yeah. You know, uh, and I'm hanging around with, uh, 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 so oh, baby, them, 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 but, but I got, I got, I saw some of shit, but I got John O, I got John O with me, I got Mickey Lee with me. Shout out to Mickey Lee. You know, the, my niggas come hang out. With the BT and Mickey Lee. My I know what's time up. My nigga, uh, uh, uh K-Pop. Yeah, yeah, shout out to K-Pop. We all, we all got, we, 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 we stayed on 6th State in Linwood. That ain't that shit. See, you know what I'm saying? See, you know I had a house on 6th State in Linwood. Yeah. And, 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 and Oreo, them stayed on 6th State in St. Vincent. So I, all I spot got kicked in the same time. Me, Big O, uh, Carl Pratt, I mean, 2002, yeah. right before I left to go to Philadelphia. Yeah. And they kicked all our houses in. They, and I remember, I never knew about the real name. And the police asked me questions and shit. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. All they, they, all they gave me was on a fucking uh, ticket I had. I got it bent for speed, because I didn't know it. But, I was, they just show you how knee deep I was in. It was fucked up because when uh, the Cootie Love got into it with the homies on uh, Kenny Street and Lakeside, and the police came over there, behind the shit they seen me on picture with niggas from the north, but they also, seven months before, seen me on picture with the bottom boys. So like, how the hell, but they understand my brother bottom boy, and, I'm, and, 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 and the fact that I was with uh. They see me on pictures with Big O and Jigolo and Oreo and I'm younger than them. But they see me on pictures with MC, Pat, Stan, Lou, uh, uh, who else I was on picture with? Rock, Little Cisco, Kevin Washington, whoever. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah, came hung out of our crib anyway. So it was it, it was confusing to them. And also I realized it was confusing to niggas that was from, from, from City Grove. Like they see me, they see me downtown. On, 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 in Shreveport with Mickey Lee and John O and you know with the bottom boy, but the last night they seen me with the nigga from the north. But they understand at the same time when they see me nigga with the north, John O that was there too. Yeah, yeah. The nigga from the bottom was there too. General or the big OG, big O. Johnny Cape was my nigga. Yeah. Johnny everybody know you don't know Johnny Cape was doing. No. Oh man. Everybody. Everybody was Johnny Cape, but that nigga crazy. <laughs> Body boy. But uh he doing the BA days. He's on that on that in that in that in that uh I don't know your age, but I know like there's different brackets. I'm aging backwards. Like I I'll be 40 40 this year. Then there's a group that the the guys that are 49 I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm, I'm aging backwards. <laughs> and you know what? You are though. Yeah. Because you the only person that I know that can keep people in tune, but y'all are gonna ask you, why you ain't starting a podcast yet? You about a 10, 15 person to ask me that. So I got my nose right here. I got my nose right here. I already right. got you lined up. In my bar, in my, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I appreciate what you, you know what I'm saying, social goals and take over, you know what I'm saying? But my boy take over like, you know what I'm saying? If he don't fuck with it, I might step into that, you know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with that song, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one that told take over the interview you. Yeah? You ain't another person do, it was two of y'all, so he- No, 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 he'll tell you no. another person do. No, he'll tell you no. No, no, he don't tell me the name. Tell you something. But it's like- Ask take, ask my boy. Yeah. Ask my boy Jeff Pellum. But I know it's another person to deal. I know it's Danny Colton too. No, why? Because we got, Without doing the Ian Gleason show on iHeartRadio, 
Yeah. I recognize Take Over TV. It was Take Over Podcast then. Yeah, yeah. They want Take Over TV. They came to my, they came, they, they been on our show three times. Yeah. I told him. And I like all that. I like, I like the I, little I, thing. I got fuck with each other. I told him, I said, interview Big Sack, interview Bosco. Yeah, yeah. I told him that. He'll tell you that. Yeah. On, on, on Neighborhood. Yeah. On everything. And yeah. He, on, he didn't know nothing about it. Nobody was street boy. At yeah. the time in. Yeah. He didn't know shit. I gave him a street boy. Right on. I sent him. Yeah, because he, 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 he was in Texas. He was in Texas. Yeah, he was in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Longview. Yeah, Longview. I said, I said. Shout out to my boy Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Take Over TV, Jeff. It was three of y'all back then. Yeah, it was three of you. And he held it as well. You know what I'm saying? I still got that shirt button too. Uh, you you moved the mic, it's all good. Oh, no, oh, yeah, oh. It's all They'll get it. They got the kind Yeah, yeah, they got it. You know, no, I told him I said interview my nigga. Like, I told him interview Big Sack, right? It's probably about seven, eight months later. They interview Big Sack after I told him. Man, big sack, but, the, the last big sack I'm a jam, I'm always do. Yeah, I, got fun, some, uh, I get it, I, I got some shit. my documentary. I got, I got some shit people ain't heard though. I got a bunch of rappers. Yeah. Shit. People ain't heard it, they don't share it, they know I share that shit. Yeah. They know I'm quick to share some shit. I got Wody, I got uh, D.O.M., I got uh. What album did drop? We got a brother, we got a, we got a son, we got a call, I'll chill. Man, I, come on, yeah, come over that thing. Hey, Let's do the video. I, I got the album. I, feel, I got the album right. The last now. one. The, yeah, the last one. Yeah. Let's get this thing cracking. We've been doing each other since we were. Oh, yeah. The name is Big Boy himself. Partner, no, he, on my, he on that song. That, where, they, yeah. where they do that at? I see y'all in the video. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, he's on the show. He's coming out here. That nigga gonna lie in the mother. That nigga gonna lie in the motherfucker. He gonna get drunk and talking crazy. Uh, he, <laughs> well, well, I'm telling you what happened, right? That nigga boy carrying like when a motherfucker. Get, when I get the Bosco, the Bosco birthday badge. He was not drunk then. Yeah, but I, he, was, he, was, he was on the show. Out of all the interviews I did that night, he did like 10 to 15 minutes, right? Yep, that's what yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I yeah. still needed more out of him. And I had hit him up when I came home. I said, say, man, we need more, uh, I need more content. <laughs> So it's been like nine months now. So now next month he gonna say he gonna pop up. But we'll see what happened though, because he got a lot to say. You know what? I know I, I talked to him on see I have phone Talking about Busco production. I have oh, money. See I have see we have we talk on the phone. Yeah, yeah. So I know how he feel and how he grieved through the phone conversation. So when he comes on his camera, it ain't gonna be no different. Yeah, ain't no different. Yeah, it's what it is, what it is. Now, that episode gonna yeah. be controversial. Yeah. Well, uh, no, nah, I, I, I know. I, I'm gonna let him. He ain't got that many problems, baby. You no, know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let him he, say. He content. I'm gonna let him say what he's gonna say. Yeah, he supposed to. And and then and, and let it breathe. Yeah. I, I mean, it's content, and and I feel like if he if if I if I don't let it out. Then nobody won't know how he feel, and then because he don't know. He, evidently, he tried to come at them and talk to them before whoever he got a problem with, and it didn't merge out the right. But anyway, that's another story. When he come on the show, you gotta have media. You better have media for that though. I mean, I tried to media since we did for years. Yeah, uh, everybody. You know what? It's a bunch of rappers that they don't get. Don't see eye to eye. Yeah. But everybody come to me though. But uh, my old thing is, we grew together and I love all of them and I don't want that. I yeah. don't like that. And I tell her. I kind of sense that, but I don't know, know that nobody, nobody see, come to me with it. But, 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 yeah, I sense it, but they don't want to know what I'm saying because yeah. if, you open up, if you open up the can with me, you take the chance of getting scrutinized if you're in the wrong. See, you know what I'm saying? I feel just as bad as you do because you in the city. Yeah. You're not in the city. Yeah. So, I don't hear or know who who I should be hanging around with, who I should be talking to. Yeah. Or like I had somebody on, I, I had a, it's an episode I did that I didn't put out because who I had on the show was going at everybody who I cared about. Yeah. You probably heard that shit was all through the city. I don't know, I don't know. A female right came on my show. A female? And she kept, she she went up on all the homies from the north, and I didn't like the shit. And oh, I'm not that bad. The that. whole time she's going live while I'm doing the show, yeah, yeah, but the show yeah, leaked yeah. out before that. Yeah. And a lot of homies was mad at me, yeah. but I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But I couldn't, either way, even if she went, didn't go live, I couldn't leak out the episode because she was saying some shit about, I, it would have broke us from home. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, no, nah, this, this nigga wife watch my show, she comments. She's on it. She can't see this. I, but I didn't know what I was getting into. But yeah, it didn't want my yeah, money, though. Yeah. But it, but yeah, what they did, they would got a lot of revenue. But I didn't let but it. Yeah, because yeah, the integrity and the more come in, and some of that shit like yeah, is it worth it? Want, um, uh, it ain't I, worth it. No, I really get my money another way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and, then, I, and then you can. I don't know. You, like, got, you got these people who tell you you should have let it out. I still got the video, but like people are like man, just edit it. If I edit the show, then you ain't getting nothing because the bitch was going live. Hard, yeah. She was going in for everybody, but it's just certain people I just couldn't let her just get. But you know what I'm saying? Don't no. use my platform for that because you got your own platform. That's why I didn't leave the go video. Go on your own live do that if you got that much agreements. That's but. why I didn't leave the video, Bosco, because you know what I'm like, this shit was what? This was last year. This was last year when this shit, like, around and this time. At the same time, whatever was done, whatever, you know what I'm saying? What gun did the dog come to the light? So there's a warning, but that was going on. Uh, she can, she was able to bag that up, man. You know what I'm saying, but it, it, uh, if she a part of the business, well, what I, what I got, <coughs> I got, with better people. When I got out of the situation, the shit she was saying <coughs> was the shit that everybody I always said throughout the years, and that evidently she had animosity toward the people that she was naming, and these probably was some bullshit. So I said no. Nah. And at the same time, at the end of the day, brother, it was not that. Them, these, I care about these people. Yeah, in yeah. some type of way, and I'm not gonna let that shit happen. Yeah. So, other than that, uh, anyway, let's get back to the shit. It's, 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 you know, because we about to get to the square bitch award. What the hell was that? That's a law. That's a law book. Yeah, it's a law book. That's a West law book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. He paid. He paid attention. This should be in every household, though. Yeah. We got a lot of books. We got, oh, a, we got a whole, we got a whole different thing. We got a bunch of shit. Uh, I really need uh, one. No, I'm saying I, I was that last. I ain't right. seen what's up, but I did. Yeah, but I, I, I remember mean, what I read in my in my I head. See the books because I know the. I mean, we live in the life that I live. I love that Harlem hustles in the '80s. Alpo, Rich Porter, uh, <coughs> Kevin Childs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good book to read right up, man. Pay the full two part to be put out by Dame Dash soon next year. Pay the full two? I feel like before you watch Pay the Full the movie part two. So so he got killed shots in part two? Yeah. Was he, he wasn't in one, was it? The character wasn't in one. He should have been in one. He should have He should have. Once, yeah, I, I, once I watched some of the podcasts, you know who Kevin Charles is. You know what I'm saying? He said he was putting them people in their walls going to jail. You know who Kevin Charles is? Kevin Charles is a big hustler. Yeah. He didn't tell. His mama went to jail. And everything. And they say they stay solid. And his mama, he stay solid. He let his mama do her years too. So, well. Kevin Charles is really the pay for really. Fuck Alpo. Uh, he brought style. Uh, but watch Kevin Charles, man. Uh, have y'all ever heard of Dun Diva magazines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look at the books. But other than that, man, Square Bitch Award, uh, I go bad, go bad. I'm gonna make sure I ain't dead nothing now. Cause people like, man, don't leave nothing out. Don't leave nothing out, okay. Uh, Street Boy, what are y'all about all this shit? The Red, okay, the Red River Edition, we talk about that, okay. Fuck it. We talk about the politics. The politics. That's what we're gonna get to. And then we'll end it. Yo, I want, I want, I want, I got a message for it. Don't so, but what, what, so, what, 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 what's going on right now in national politics, you know what I'm saying? The street ball politics or the national? National politics. Okay, let's get on that. And we get the street ball politics because it's a, it's a trickle down effect. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's do that. Let's get on that and then we'll do it. Oh, shit. Yeah, keep going. Yo, yo. Street ball. He was right? Yeah, it was right. I was just in the town. Oh, you rolling? Yeah, we good. We good. We good. Yeah, no, basically, you know what I'm saying, like what's going on as far as we got we got midterm elections coming up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The midterm, the midterm is as much as important as a presidential election. You know what I'm saying? And more of our people are starting to learn that 
the, but, but you know what I'm saying? But this is a new process to a lot of our people because we wasn't granted the right to vote as when other people were granted to vote. Exactly. We catching up. And they know we catching up, so they playing more games. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm so, saying? So, so, so I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna send it to the, the, the Democratic Party that asked for our vote and we they get our vote. So I'm an independent. Because I don't agree with Democrat. The, the everything that the Democrats do, they too soft when there's a time to Okay, I understand you want to be nice and you want to, you know what I'm saying, you want to be the, the model for the country, yes, but when people start playing tackle football and you playing touch, you're going to lose every time, you know what I'm saying? This could easily be solved, you know what I'm saying? Roe basically way wouldn't have been turned over mm. if Biden can easily add to the, you know what I'm saying, the Supreme Justice. He can do that. It hasn't been done before, but at the same time, what hasn't been done before when Mitch McConnell told Obama, you know what I'm saying, that he shouldn't appoint a judge, the Supreme Court justice, during the election year. And then when Obama didn't do it, and then, you know what I'm saying, when Trump got president, you know what I'm saying, Trump did it, and Mitch McConnell didn't say nothing. So these people not playing foul. So when they not playing foul, don't you, you know what I'm saying, don't, we can't, we can't continue to let y'all tell us to vote for you when you're not, you know what I'm saying, fighting for our vote. Now, the progressives, I'm with y'all 100, you know what I'm saying? But y'all got it, you know what I'm saying, we got to vote more progressives in. We got to go more of a title to the progressive Democrats and not the blue dog Democrats like Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema. Okay. See, I'm holding this up, you know what I'm saying? I understand the game. I understand how it be played, you know what I'm saying? The progressives are they're ready to do the same thing that the Tea Party did on the other side and, you know what I'm saying, these other Republicans are doing. They took over the Republican Party, you know what I'm saying? And the progressives have to do the same thing, and then we have to take us to vote more progressive in to so, get more, so you know what I'm saying, more movement out of the Democratic so Party. You, so you vote, you vote. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm the same way because... Yeah, I, I vote now, you know what I'm saying, but for a long time I couldn't. But when I started voting, I wanted to understand, you know what I'm saying, the system. Anything I get into, I want to understand exactly how it works. And I got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, intelligent homeboy that just... Stupid, don't, don't even want to deal with it because it's so much bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Because they know the deeper end of it and they don't want to, um, like, like, they don't vote at all. Don't vote at all. They, uh, they do vote. Right. They scrutinize the whole situation, but they got a right to scrutinize it because on the outside, they're not in depth in it. It look like a lot of games being played. Yep. And like, with, 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 like, like, okay, like, like I'm going to bullshit you, but... You gonna get held accountable because you playing with the bull. You in you in tune with the bullshit. Not saying that you down with the bullshit, but by you entertaining it. Yep. And that's what Democrat is a system, yep. and Democrat is a part of it. So the Republican always had that line on like whatever happened, y'all gonna look bad too. Cause y'all is this a this I can, I can, I can, the jacket. I can act, I can actually say that this is the first time that during the president the presidency or whatever. That I have never like I don't see the president on TV no more. Like with no. when when Obama, when Bill Clinton, whoever yeah. George Bush, Bill Clinton, Obama, Donald Trump, they on TV. No matter what you you turn it on, ESPN, uh, C-SPAN, yeah. whatever, they own there. Facebook, yeah, Twitter, they own there, yeah. Since Biden and Kamala Harris been in office, yeah. I haven't seen them since the whole run. Yeah, Biden, I feel some type of way about that. Let me tell you, Biden already is an old school motherfucker. He's not with the social media shit. He more of a he a, he a Democrat, but he more of a conservative. He knows that if he he let he he's not with the exposure. He wanted to do the work. You he don't want to be seen him. on the camera. What I'm saying. They don't make him bad. But they do that. He, 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 he weak as a motherfucker. Okay, what about, what about not social media, though? What, what about... You but take the away man, 97 years old. What about social media? Take away that. He's not even on CNN or... He but is, he, he on now, he on now when it comes to a, an address. He on now. What about Kamala Harris? She on now, so she, she on now more than I did, especially with the abortion thing. But she the vice president. Vice, most, you know what I'm saying? Most vice president... They back anyway into a certain topic they got with she on this hill. They can okay. push her to the front with no woman thing because she a woman. And then you know what I'm saying they want her to take more role now because they feel like she's gonna run next, you know what I'm saying, when the next president come up instead of Biden. 